Evening. Um, just thought I'd do a quick video about surviving Christmas. However, just so you know, one's there and the other one is there. So there will be some snoring. Anyway, surviving Christmas. Um, now, a lot of us seem to get very stressed about diet and missing the gym and training, etc., etc., etc. So let's just get a few things right, okay? Two, three days off the gym is not going to kill you. You're not going to lose all your muscle mass. You're not going to suddenly waste away. And a couple of days off diet, exactly the same. It's not the end of the world. Relax. Enjoy the season. Spend time with your family and just chill a bit. However, I understand that some people get very wrapped up in the training and the diet and they struggle to take time off. And some people may generally not enjoy taking time off. So that's up to you. I think if you're honest, for most people, it's not that you don't enjoy it. It's just that you don't know how to relax and take time off. And you're just paranoid that you're going to lose gains or you're losing control or whatever it is. Some, however, do struggle in avoiding the treats and just letting everything go to shit. Now, it doesn't really matter if for a week or two weeks you didn't train and you did completely eat shit because the damage can always be undone. But it does take a bit of work and it does take a bit of time. So, little tips that might help. Keeping structure. When we work, we get up, we go to work, we have a structure, we have an organised day. When we're off work over the Christmas periods, that usually goes to shit. Now, granted, I'm not expecting someone to get up at five o'clock in the morning, they normally get up for work at that time, to do that on the days off. Bollocks to that, you want to be able to lie in. But do keep some structure to your day. Try and still go training at a set time each day. Get up, have breakfast, get your meals organised and prep as you would if you were working. If things are prepped, you're more likely to stick to them. Uh, and, you know, if something goes a bit awry, don't just write the day off, just get back on track. However, if you're like me, cheats tend to cascade. So if I go a little bit off track, I tend to go a way off track. So, what I find works really well is allocating days or times. So, for example, my diet will go to shit on Christmas Eve at about probably five o'clock, and it won't start looking anything where normal until probably Boxing Day, where I'll still have at least one or two cheat meals, and then it'll be the day after when I get back on diet. And I will allow that time as a free-for-all. I'm not bothered. I'll just eat whatever the fuck I want. Um, however, this is another thing as well. When we get cheats, we tend to go overboard. We tend to explode. We tend to just stuff it in for the sake of it. And really, this ain't going to be a good experience. Not only are you going to feel like shit for doing it, both mentally and physically, but it's going to actually take away from the enjoyment of the meal. So just... Be sensible, you know, don't eat for the sake of eating. This is another problem about losing structure. When we lose structure and we're not organised and we're bored, we tend to eat. We eat just for the sake of eating. And it's like we'll sit and watch the TV and we'll eat a full tin of roses because they're there and we just habitually shove them in our faces and then two hours later we've got an upset stomach and we feel like shit. That's a bit pointless. Enjoy your food, but don't suffer for it. That's a completely waste of time. So again, you know, if you want to eat crap, eat crap, but just be sensible. Why would you eat four times more than you normally do? Particularly if you've been on quite a strict diet or quite a strict regime, you'll find the influx of shitty food will do you no good at all. You will feel like crap, so just be sensible. But at the same time, you know, don't stress it. Don't stress it at all. You know, if the gym's closed for a few days, who gives a fuck? What's it matter? You can go for a walk if you want. You can get out in the fresh air. 
Take the kids sledging if the snow's on the ground. You know, there are other forms of exercise. But at the end of the day, a couple of days not training is not going to ruin your physique. It's fine. You will survive. You will not suddenly lose all your muscle mass. Take the time to do something you've been planning on doing. Or just relax. Have fun with the kids. Have fun with the missus or the fella. Just enjoy some family time. However, if you are using and you are on cycle, bear that in mind. You know, you may be quite strict with the alcohol most of the year because you're using, but at this time things can get out of hand. You've already got one stress chemically on the body. You don't want to be topping up with another. So if you drink, fine, enjoy your drink. Just don't be going overboard. It won't do you any good at all. It is a season, it is a time of year to relax, spend time with friends and family and have a good time. You don't want to be stressing about your macros. You don't want to be stressing about your next set or your next meal. Just enjoy it for what it is. You'll do better switching off for two, three days and having a good time than you will stressing about it and living somewhere halfway between the two in no man's land with a bit of diet and a bit of training and not really sating that urge to have a binge and constantly fight with the guilt of not quite sticking to your diet just allocate time do it get on with it and like i said no matter how far you go off the rails it can all be recovered and it be in the new year it might take a week might take two weeks but it will all sort itself out <clears throat> one thing i have found useful is sort of going keto Loads of meat, most veggies I want. I'm a cheese whore, so loads of cheese for me. And I just avoid the carbs. And and that means I can eat a lot of foods that I want to eat because I'm not that big on chocolate. It doesn't really bother me. So I'm not that big on sweet stuff. It doesn't really bother me. But I do love my cheeses. So it means I can hammer my meat and my cheese all day long and don't have a massive impact at the end of it all. So it's definitely an option for those if you like me that way. But most of all, just chill, relax, have some downtime. Seriously, it's not the end of the world that the gym is not open Christmas Day. If you want to do it, if that's what floats your boat, crack on. I know I get bored Boxing Day, and I must admit, I'm sort of looking, wondering, well, there's a gym open, I could go kill a couple hours. So I understand that. You know, if you get bored, crack on. But otherwise, enjoy the time. Put your feet up, relax, watch shitty films, and just chill. Anyway. I hope you all have a good one. Uh, take care from me and the uh, snoring doggies. Um, and I'll catch up with you soon.